Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. If you noticed, if you may have noticed, I got a new camera set up here and I'm testing it out. Hopefully it'll come out good. I've also got a boom mic here, so I don't have a lapel mic anymore. It's a little bit strange though, because I'm so used to my other setup. And I used to have a monitor at the camera so I could see the screen, so I could see if I'm in shot in frame, but now I've got it on my my desk on the monitor on the actual desktop monitor but i need to get a little monitor i'm, I'm still working on the setup but you know it's it's always a work in progress so it, it, I, i'm liking it so far i need to probably fix the lighting too right it's like there no it's not i don't know we'll, we'll see I'll, I'll eventually get this this set up right. Anytime you change anything, it's uh, it's uh, it's always a hassle. Uh, I'm I'm actually using a C100 camera now, which is a pretty professional camera. I've I've upgraded from you know as I've gone. I'll still be using my iPhone and stuff. But anyway, what I want to talk about today is success. A success story. I want to read you a success story. It's it's fairly long, but it's from someone who really applied themselves. And, you know, I, I love to share success stories from people that have had success from being part of Simple Programmer, being part of the community and, and following what I'm saying here. Right? I want to give you guys some proof. I want to show you that this is this works. This stuff works, right? That, that people are actually having success because I know a lot of you are like, oh, you know, it can't happen for me. But I, I thought this story was really inspiring. So this story is from Danny. And Danny says, hi, John. Uh, first Firstly, thanks so much for your video response to my email about getting back on the horse. All right, I do that in all, all my videos. Uh, it was really helpful to me. I watch your videos every day and they have been a huge help on my journey. There are many of us who appreciate you. Well, thank you, Danny. Appreciate that. I appreciate you. I thought you might be interested in sharing my story of how I went from being someone who believed they weren't even capable of getting a job as a web developer to someone who had a successful web an app development career to someone who built a successful app on the side, ultimately creating enough passive income to quit my job and go full time on my own products. It's pretty cool. In 2007, I finished a university degree which involved audio production, video production, and web development. Maybe I could use your help. <laughs> I completed the degree with a high score and did extremely well in all the web development modules. In spite of this, my self-belief was so low that I didn't even believe it was possible for me to get a job as a web developer. So I continued at my low paid job as a games tester for a whole year. Some people would love to be a games tester. Although I imagine it's, it's not that, that fun. Uh, eventually I got off my ass and started applying for web developer jobs and soon got my first job. I improved my development skills and moved up into lead roles pretty quickly and my self-belief started to grow, but I still didn't see entrepreneurship as a remotely possible option for me. In 2011, I took part in a competition called CSS Off. Contestants were given a Photoshop design of a web page and had two weeks to code it up. The results were then scored on various aspects by leading industry people, including Chris Coyer and Ethan Marcote. 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 The top prize was a MacBook Air and over 400 people took part. For two weeks, I barely slept as I worked all night on my entry. A few months after submitting my entry, I found out that I came first place. That's pretty fucking cool. Uh, this gave me a massive confidence boost, making me realize I could actually make things happen. The MacBook Air wasn't too bad either. Soon, after a colleague told me about PhoneGap, a framework which you could create cross-platform apps using web technologies, I couldn't wait to get stuck in. I spent three months in the evenings creating my first app, Speed Distance Time Calculator. Straight away, the app started making two, two, uh, $2.50, two pounds, two pounds and 50, what is it, pence <laughs> per day? So 250 per day, and all, and to this day, it still makes around five pounds per day. Although I enjoyed making the app, my mindset was so messed up at the time that I believed it was pointless to continue making apps. My logic was that if it took three months to create one app and 250 per day, I would need to create 40 apps to get to 100 pounds a day, enough to quit my job, and this would take 120 months or 10 years. Okay, now this is where it gets good here. 
if I'd had the mindset I have now, I would have realized that 250 was a great start and maybe with a bit of self-education and hard work, I could get this to five pounds a day and maybe 10 pounds or 20 pounds a day and then I would only need a few apps to quit my job. So those of you in the US trying to convert pounds to dollars, it's like, I think it's like 150. So we're talking, if we're talking 10 pounds, I think that's like 15 US dollars, somewhere around there. I might be wrong, you know, it's, it's around there. So in any case, creating the app did give me some more confidence and definitely helped with my career, helping me land better and better jobs very easily. So this is one of the other things about, about this is, right? It's not just creating the app and just, I, I tell you guys create apps, right? So you can have a portfolio and you can have success and you have confidence. It's gonna help you get jobs, right? Even if you don't become an entrepreneur or app developer, okay? And he says, eventually landing a great job as a hybrid app developer, but regrettably I fell into a comfort zone and didn't get off my ass and build any other apps for a long time. And this happens a lot of times when you have success, what falls usually is, is comfort period where you, you, you don't have the fire anymore, right? I did this video on how do you regain the fucking fire, right? Check out that video if you haven't already. All right, in January 2014, almost two and a half years after my first app shipped, I decided I wanted to make a living from apps. I set a goal of making 100 pounds a day from apps in two years time. Once you set a goal, guys, once you set a goal, that's when the shit happens, right? And you set the goal, this, it doesn't happen, right? But once you set this goal, watch what happens here. I got started on my second app, Fudget, I love the name, a personal finance app. Go check it out, by the way, it's, it's awesomely rated. It was much more complicated and took me six months to create. I couldn't have done it, I could have done it quicker, but I really struggled with long periods of procrastination during the process. To be honest, I was amazed I ever finished. I'll give you guys another resource here. Check out my playlist on procrastination or laziness. Uh, that's going to help you if you're struggling with this. Most people struggle with this. I've struggled with this in the past. Okay. I released the app as a paid app in July 2014. Nobody bought the app and it seemed like a total failure. However, I believed in the app and didn't want to give up on it. I decided to make it, the app free in order to build up a user base. Okay. Pretty gutsy move, but let's see what happens. For the rest of the year, the app made no money, but slowly built up users. Almost a whole year after the app was released, in June 2015, it started making a little money after I added an in-app purchase. By the end of 2015, it was making about 10 pounds per day. That's pretty good, right? That's 10% of his goal right there. So that's that's gotta be pretty damn exciting. During this time, I also created some other apps. These all flopped but I didn't let it deter me. I just focused on what I could learn from these experiences. I see now that it was worth spending several months to create a flop just to be able to understand at a deep level why some apps flop and some don't. So again, I'll, I'll break here. Failure is an important process of success because when you fail, you learn what doesn't work, right? And you, you improve your process. So this is good, right? He understands here that he had to fail in order to understand what makes success. I kept learning about things like how to sell, marketing, design and app store optimization through books and courses, and also improving my mindset by watching videos from people like yourself. Thank you, sir. I gradually kept implementing everything I was learning through trial and error. Most things I tried didn't work, <laughs> but occasionally something would work, so then I just do more of that. What a great formula for success. Most of the things that you're doing don't work but then you keep on implementing and keep on trying. And then the things that do work, you stick with and you do more of them. So simple, right? But it's, it's hard to do. Fudget slow, slowly grew. At the end of 2016, it was making 50 pounds per day. In 2017, it grew much more quickly. And by April, I'd finally hit my goal of 100 pounds a day. That's fucking awesome, all right? Uh, so in the end, it took three years and four months to reach the goal I'd set at the start of 2014 only one year and four months behind schedule. So sometimes that happens, but it doesn't mean that you don't set the goal and that you don't keep on pushing towards it, right? There's been plenty of goals that I've, I've missed and I've had to push out, but having the goals what, what propels you forward sometimes. All right, I kept working my day job for a few months so I could save up a little more buffer. And in June, I handed in my notice, I love it. I worked the last day of my job as a hybrid app developer on the 31st of August, 2017. Congratulations, Danny. Congratulations, my friend. Feels good, doesn't it? Fudget has now 
had over half a million downloads and together with my other apps has enabled me to work where I want, when I want, and on things I'm passionate about. Words can't explain how good that feels. A few years ago, I never would have believed I was capable of creating this kind of success and lifestyle. I'm sharing this as I hope it will make your viewers realize that they are capable of far more than they realize. Even if you don't think you have what it takes, even if you're a chronic procrastinator as I was, even if your mindset is all messed up, just keep learning, taking action, learning, taking action, oh, just keep learning, taking action, learning, taking action, and you will eventually get to where you wanna be. If you're already a programmer, I implore you, don't just do your day job and go home as most do. Make sure you work on your own projects, right? I tell you guys this all the time, and create things. Being a programmer doesn't just give you a salary, it gives you incredible magical powers of creation, so don't forget this. Thanks, Danny. So, I want to thank you, Danny. This is awesome. This is I you know, this is better than than anything I can say on this channel practically because this is the proof of it. This is what happens and this is a real story, you know, something that seemed impossible. So, I just want to, you know, I think Danny said said enough. I want to congratulate you, Danny. Awesome job. You know, enjoy that freedom and, and go on, keep on going. Keep on going to the next thing. You still got more ahead of you. You you're not you're not going to we're not going and, and drinking Mai Tais on the beach. You got you got more stuff ahead of you, and I expect to hear more from you, more great things. And uh, any of you, right, I want your success stories. I want you to be like Danny. I want, this is why I'm making this channel. This is why I write the books that I do, right? I don't have my book here now. I've got soft skills, though. This, this, this could help you go buy that book or the Complete Software Developer Worker Guide. This is why I create this content. This is why I do this stuff, right? I could be retired on the beach, right? I hit my retirement goal a long time ago, but... I do this stuff because I want to see you guys succeed. So show me it. Let me see you do it. It's totally possible. And yeah, I, I hope that you found this story inspiring. If you did, give a nice thumbs up. Go check out Danny's app, okay? And share this with someone who, who could use this. And make sure you click the subscribe button. Click that subscribe button below so you can get motivated and we can hold each other accountable. At least I can hold you accountable. I don't know how much you, you hold me accountable too because you guys watch my videos. So click that subscribe button, click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.